So um, there is urgent help needed for the Sahel region in Africa. The UNICEF, which is the United Nations Children Fund, wants 67 million. Um, it's a charity, and of course, there's going to be a lot of administration fees. But it's better to work with the the devils to feed the poor than not to feed the poor at all. As much as I hate to fucking say it, and even people take advantage of the fact that there's conspiracies in the um, administration of these agencies, like Kanye West, etc., and they get accused of. I don't know if it's true or not, but I know that people do take advantage, and I did report on some of those people. And people even in uh, Louisiana are taking advantage of the different funds. Now, there's acute malnutrition, and there's millions of people are at risk, as many as 10 million people. Some people have five children, and there's no water. There's famine, and there's death, and there's disease. I, I urge everybody to help the children, because 35% of the deaths of the children is from malnutrition. That's the root cause, the underlying cause, according to this article. In fact, other articles claim as many as 20 million people are at risk. 20 million people. I've got I've gotten numbers of 20 million people. A claim from Voice of America, I believe. And reminds me of when the Egypt turned to sand. Now it's time for the next part of Egypt to turn to, excuse me, the next part of Africa to turn to sand. The white man is helping the degradation by mining the natural minerals and the natural barriers that would prevent this kind of expansion of the Sahara, if you would. So the Sahel region is, again, it covers the top part of Nigeria, it covers Niger, it covers key important places on the map and it must not be taken for granted. It covers the Ivory Coast on the top, the very tip of the Ivory Coast. It goes that low in some cases. So even the Ivory Coast is at risk of the expansion. It covers Niger, it covers Mauritania and Mali, northern Nigeria, parts of Ghana, okay? Actually, it doesn't quite cover the Ivory Coast, but my, my point is that it, it, it is so close to the, you know, to the bottom of West Africa, to the Delta region, that it, you know, to the coast, that, uh, you know, in the South Atlantic and the North Atlantic, in this case, the North Atlantic, it's so close to the, to the divide between the South and the North Atlantic, on the coast of West Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, that it threatens everybody. It's synergy. It threatens everybody. The whole ecosystem of Africa, the greater ecosystem of Africa, is at risk. They they mention Niger, Chad, Mali, Burki, Fa, Burki, excuse me, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and Senegal. But I urge you to also note that it also affects Nigeria and Ivory Coast and Ghana and Benin. And Niger State and Benin State and everybody, you know, it, it, it's one big synonymous unilateral continent. Okay? It's a unilateral, it's categorically unilateral, which means everybody would agree that Africa is a very distinct landmass. And that the organisms and the inner and the ecosystems of the different regions are intertwined. So, the effort to save Africa must be unilateral. The problem that faces the people is coming from one problem. It's a unilateral direction. It's a unilateral effort by Satan to bring down our continent. And everybody else is just the minions of his agenda. So, in the end, many of us will suffer, and many people will die. In fact, I have foreseen that I will most likely die by the year 2021 of a preventable death. I would urge you to redirect some of your funds for arms to feed the poor. And also be careful which agencies you use. Thank you.